good morning guys welcome to today's video lately i've been talking about how i want to get a pool i just want to get a small pool i have a very specific pool in mind i just want something small i want something short and I want something big enough that I could just float around and relax. My whole life growing up, I had a cottage, or we had a pool, or we had a trailer. Now that we have so many animals, we can't really leave the farm a lot. I don't feel comfortable leaving all the time. In fact, I hate leaving the farm, to be honest with you. So I just want a little tiny pool that I can stay cool and enjoy myself outside on the farm. So I got this. <laughs> I bought it secondhand thinking I don't know if I'm gonna like it if it's gonna be what I want I just thought I'll spend a little bit of money on it um, because there's no place to put a pool in this yard there's literally no place to put a pool if you guys can see it goes downhill where it is right now it goes downhill so Sam and I have been talking about it all night and we were thinking that the only other place that we could put this pool that it might work is right here we could use that little hut and make it into a pool area and put it right here where all these weeds are. It is literally gonna be a heat wave. It's already starting. It is so hot and humid outside right now. I love it, I love hot and humid, but I only like it if I can cool down. I'm even super excited to make this little area into a change room. I think that that's what it's gonna end up being. We're gonna clean it out. Um, we can even leave this table in here. I'm gonna hang up something. Well, actually, there's a clothesline in here already. This is, if you guys don't know, it's a clothesline hut. We can hang our towels up in here. They, it goes right through here. We can hang our towels, our bathing suits. We can put our, uh, can get Sam to put some hooks out here. In fact, there are already some hooks laying around. And I can put curtains on the windows, curtains on the doors. And then we can get changed in here. I'm actually super excited about this idea. So my agenda today, my mission today, is to get this whole area all cleaned out so that I can level it out, which I'm not good at, and make this into our little pool area. I can put chairs up here. I can sit and watch the kids swimming. Not that the girls are probably gonna swim a lot, but I think Sophie will float around in the water with me. But that is my agenda for today. Also, I wanna to talk to you guys about the next show. Sylvie is definitely gonna be showing in the next show. I'm so excited, we are so excited. We have plans to get ready for the show and I can't wait to share them with you. But first, we have to go and feed that little baby goat. So a quick update on my garden. Everything is growing it's so good. These are the two that I just planted. They are zucchini. I have to still build something in here. Pumpkin? Some of these are pumpkins. Where's I don't know. Well, the carrots didn't work. It poured rain last night and everything is looking happy. Give me carrot seeds. Sometimes when you transplant a plant, it can make the, the flowers fall off if it's already started to flower. And this baby's got three tomatoes already on it and it's still doing well. Sadly, because of all the rain we've had, I need to come down here with my clippers and clip all this stuff all away from the fence line. It just looks unsightly and it's such an easy thing to like clean up and I just haven't had time. And even though I really hate all the grass and stuff that's in the goat field. Uh-oh. So that there's not a goat in here. I hear it. There's not a goat or a pig. I see a pig. Oh, oh my gosh. How did they get over there? That's a, what? Oh, a, two in there? Yeah. It's actually so interesting that the pig is over in the girl field. She never hangs out here, but this is, is where- open the door, screamed and said This is where I want her to live. I want her to get used to the girl pigs. Because when our boy pig comes, I want him to be with the boy pig, the boy goats. Everybody is sleeping in the heat. Come here. <laughs> Look at the little chicken. This is our little <laughs> new farmyard. This is it, the farmyard, you guys. You do not eat milk. She probably would eat milk. You are a mess. But you guys are friends now? Oh man, I would love it if she could be over here. You're making my milk dirty. <laughs> you need pets? Yeah, you missed me. Oops. I know. Wait, I'm going to pet you. Hold on. She's falling down the hill. Yeah, roll this way. Roll this way. Come over here. 
Come over here. Come here. Come over here. I just love you, Piggy. Look at that smile. <laughs> Come over here. Yeah, he's such a cute baby. Yeah, I don't want to feed her. <laughs> well, you're stuck feeding her. Boss up. Don't be like that. Let her have her bottle. Tilly actually loves babies. She loves baby goats. Like, she's always, from the moment that each goat has brought their baby out into the farm, she's always been good to them. Uh-oh. <laughs> she's fallen and she can't get up. <laughs> Come here, you little posy pig. You better be nice to that pig. Be nice, because she's going to live out here now. I want her to live out here. She goes everywhere. I know, she does travel everywhere, but I want her to be locked in here. She was up at the horse farm when we went. Stop there. eating the camera. Oh, my posy. Here. Oh, that was fast. She chucks it down. Good baby. Do you guys see her getting taller and taller? She is growing. She is totally growing. <laughs> it actually makes me sad that... Look at you. It actually makes me sad. Like, I'm still sad over my pig. I'm sad that she was like our pet and was in the house. I'm sad that she lives out in the barnyard. She's sleeping out. Even, yeah, she's sound asleep right now. Just relax. Blossom, do not eat the camera. Cricket, don't eat my watch. Why do you have to eat stuff, eh? Why do you have to do that? I think Cricket, ooh. I think Cricket is my girl. I do. She likes Sophie too, but she's always around me. Always. I think she's my girl. And Sam bought her for me for Mother's Day. Are you my girl, Cricket? I love her. Lola is my girl. Lola is definitely Sophie's and so is little Toffee. Which she was bought for Sophie. I just don't understand how she come. I do so much for that goat. Look, my pig has moved up to the shade. I'm being bought over. My little sweet girl. I just, I don't know. I just love her. I hope she, I'm going to try and keep her over here now then. She got over here. I don't know how it happened, but if she can live in here with the goats, with the girl goats, and this is where I want to keep her. And then we got our little chicken. <laughs> this is such a crazy life. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby So the work has commenced, you guys. I am trying to clear out this area. I had it cleared out in the spring, but what happened is that there's rocks, these ginormous rocks. And because of these ginormous rocks, I'm gonna ruin my lawnmower if I keep going in there. So that's why I wasn't able to maintain it. I had to dig out these rocks first. So that's what today is all about. Digging out the rocks, you guys. I'm digging out the rocks in a heat wave. That's me. I only do things the hard way. Don't do anything the easy way. So I'm gonna come back and show you when I get this part all cleaned off so that we can start getting it leveled. Sam and Gabby have gone to get all my grain for the week. I do not know where they are. They've literally been gone for over an hour. But if I know Sam, I know he's staying away until he thinks I got this area cleared. Almost done, you guys. It's gonna be so nice because it's elevated from the play area I made my grandkids. It's gonna be stunning. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear So if you guys are OG members you'll remember like Storm used to When Gabby got him in shape, he's not in shape right now so he feels awful But when Gabby had him in shape, to get him in shape she had to like tell him, like, you have to do this. You have to go. So she would force him. And every time she would like, even just lift the crop, he would do a buck. And like, Gabby's tired of that now. She wants like an uncomplicated ride. So she doesn't enjoy riding him because he needs to get back into shape. Getting him into shape means attitude and issues. And then he settles down a lot. But I think he's really liking this, Gabby. This is his speed. 
He's like, yeah, that's okay. I'll just walk around <laughs> and do nothing. But <laughs> he sounds like a squishy toy. He's like, cock a doodle doo. Aw, oh, good boy. She's really getting into this like stage where she just wants to like teach him to do stuff instead of just ride. Like in English, in our experience, you learn all this. <laughs> you learn all the skills that you need to ride hunters. You don't learn like the Western stuff and the neck reining and all the that kind of stuff. And I think Gabby's like in her generation where that's what she's finding Storm is comfortable with. You're telling him to go right? He's like, I'll just eat the grass. And then there's Lady. She's like, let's go. I could see this through. I could wait another night. One more night, one more night. I could fight it through. Darkness turns to light One more night, one more night Say it's gonna be okay Cause this winter is so long Feels like it's haunting me Say there's gonna be a change Cause I feel like I'm just holding on to yesterday But if I wait till the summer The thing about Lady that we've been finding, so um, Sophie's gonna go into boot camp now. This after probably after this week because um, it's so it's supposed to be from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's supposed to be so hot like you can't ride. Um, so next week, starting next week, she's gonna go into boot camp and she's gonna be riding like crazy to get ready for the next show. And she's hoping to do two shows in July to make up for the ones that she lost, she missed in June. Um, so get ready for two shows at least in July and I don't know what we're gonna do with Storm and Gabby but she should enter I think Sophie I think Gabby should Sophie's like get out of my way and Gabby's like listen <laughs> oh, no. Are you going? We're following you. oh I think that's a good idea Well, if he, he faster, yeah, he throws more fits if you do anything to him. All right, well, just let him follow her and don't don't ask him to do anything. Even then, he will still try to buck Anyways, what I wanted to say, Sophie, don't just keep stopping. What I wanted to say was that Lady has really rounded out our herd. Everybody is so much happier since she's been here. Penny loves her. Storm has kind of backed off a little. He doesn't bother Penny or else Penny feels like Storm isn't the boss of her anymore. So she feels comfortable. She sticks right beside Lady. I saw Penny and Storm running together the other day happily. I, it's just shocking. It's shocking how one horse can make or break your whole herd. I think what's happening with Gabby is that she compares Storm to Chino like before she was never riding Storm consistently, and now that Chino's gone, she like only remembers Chino. She only remembers like how easygoing he was and how good he I've was to her. Them. I know you always compared them, but like it's hard to go to Storm after you know, have known Chino. Somebody's working her way up to cantering bareback, you guys. You're working your way up to cantering bareback. I bet you she could no, do a few I'm steps. Defenseless. No I'm hands. No we missed it. Oh my gosh, you don't even have like a, you don't need, you just have a lead rope. Yeah, I've done it before. And so to change ways, you just throw it over your Oh, that's, that's cool. For the two people that keep messaging me, asking me, where's your duck? Where's your duck? There, she, there he is, sitting right there in the grass. What? He looks like a rock. Yeah, he looks like, just like a little rock. Gabby looks like she peed herself from yeah. sweat. Yeah. Well, aren't you glad we didn't put a saddle pad on you? Oh. All right. Saddle pads are worse because at least the sweat helps you stick on. <laughs> saddle pads, you slide off with the thing. Try 
She's like a chair. Don't you know that you're beautiful?